Hey guys, TVG here with another episode of TVG News. In today's episode, we're going to be focusing on the article written by Spencer Kaufman on April 29, 2023. For consequence, heavy music news about the lead singer of the American rap rock band formed in Los Angeles in 1995, entitled Crazy Town. They're best known for their 2001 number one hit song on the Billboard Hot 100 entitled Butterfly. Let's take a look. No talented scum, crazy town shifty shell shock arrested for DUI days after violent fight with bandmate. Let's continue. Loser scum, crazy town vocalist Seth Binzer, a.k.a. Shifty Shellshock, was arrested for DUI on Tuesday, April 25th, 2023, a couple of days after engaging in a headline-making bloody fist fight with his bandmate Bobby Reeves. As previously reported, scumbag Binzer pummeled co-vocalist Reeves following a disastrous show in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, in which scumbag Binzer failed to show up until the end of the gig. Video footage showed loser scumbag Binzer repeatedly punching Reeves while accusing him of stealing his money. Crazy Town were subsequently kicked off the new metal Madness Tour 2 by headliners Keed P.E. Now TMZ has reported that the loser scum, 48-year-old loser, Binzer, was detained in Myrtle Beach on Tuesday after the police received a call about a possible drunk driver in a black SUV who seemed to be falling asleep at the wheel. Just want to let you guys know, scumbag loser Seth Binzer, the lead singer of Crazy Town, born in Los Angeles, California on August 23rd, 1974, which made him 48 years old at the time of the incident, and his British model actress Jasmine Leonard announced their engagement in 2012. Scumbag loser Seth Binzer was arrested in February 2012 for battery and cocaine possession and sentenced to three years probation. His relationship with Jasmine Leonard ended. Shortly thereafter, in 2013, Jasmine Leonard asked California court for exclusive custody of their son, claiming scumbag loser Seth Binzer smoked crack in front of their son and once left a crack pipe in his room. Scumbag loser Seth Binzer appeared in the reality television series Celebrity Rehab 1 and 2 and Sober House 1 and 2. Let's continue. When officers arrived at the scene, they found the low-life Binzer at the wheel with visible signs of impairment. He was given a field sobriety test which indicated that he was impaired while driving. He was then arrested and taken to the Myrtle Beach Jail. What a piece of shit this kid is. In the year 2000s, this piece of shit used to roam around the streets in Hollywood. What a lowlife. What a no-talented piece of crap. Holy moly. Talk about a downward spiral. Can't sing. Can't rap. Just a waste of time. A waste of space. No talent. No job completely addicted, and now never going to work again. Scumbag Binzer. What a loser. This guy is one of the biggest losers to ever hit the Hollywood scene. I feel bad for his son. They have a dad that's such a loser. A piece of crap, no talented loser. This is a joke. The fact that people would even pay money to see this guy, it's not happening. It's not happening. This guy is a complete loser. Okay, guys, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. That's going to do it for today's episode. If you like this video, please give it an old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and share it with a friend if possible. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. TVG out.